Ladies and gentlemen, from Hilltop, Tacoma, Washington, I have Mr. Dog253 and Mac Money. What up, fellas? What's happening? What's good with it? What's good? Talk to me about Hilltop, Tacoma, Washington, specifically in the 80s and early 90s. Yeah, I mean, man, it's like yes, <clears throat> it's like anywhere else around here, man. You know, it it was real, uh, real tight with, with, with a lot of opportunity. You know what I mean? Man, honestly, the late '80s, early '90s, Tacoma, the hill in particular, was a unique place in that it was a metropolis of people. Uh, we still were at the end of what I would call a. a uh, abstract of uh, the, the the brothers that came up from Cuba, but back in them dying, we still had Cuban uh, in Tacoma, which a lot of people don't 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 know that ain't from the hill. We had a lot of Cubans up in the hill, so it was a metropolis of blacks and Cubans. You know what I'm saying up there, and it, and, it, and it was it was it was it was it was crack city. You know, back then it was a lot of dope on the hill, but there was still a family structure in a way. A lot of people were still green or or, or are still coming into themselves as far as being in the game and uh, 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 and understanding what, what they were getting themselves involved with, man. Like, we're first generation, so I can take you from out of shit when, when there was nothing in Tacoma to when it came. You feel what I'm saying? Dog, can you talk to me about the whole relation between the Cubans and how they were, I guess, you know, big in the crack game? Man, you know, just things, things came from from different sources, you know, it was kind of touching down in the neighborhood, and you just happened to be young around it, and and that just happened to be the channel. So literally, you know, saying that it was kind of the, the whole introduction, you know, what I'm saying that was the opportunity that was, that was that came along with 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 the uh, migration up here. Yeah. Absolutely, and that was before, you know, like L.A. gangs came or any of that. You know what I'm saying? The Cubans really brought that dope game, that heroin game, that cocaine game. Mm. To the city of Tacoma, the Cubans brought that brought that soft out here. They, I remember when they were still free basing. I remember watching us, uh, rest in peace, some of my family members free basing and partying shit still during, still during that time. The motherfuckers was uh was rocking it up too. Don't get it twisted. If you could survive the late eighties, early nineties, not you know just as a gang member, obviously, but just even as a civilian, I feel like you're some sort of a warrior. I mean, because it was fucking cracking down here. Was it a uh, was it really popping like like it was when crack hit like it was uh, up there in Tacoma? Absolutely, no, no doubt, my man. It was it was a <laughs> hyperactivity. You know what I'm saying? Everything just moved at the speed of light. You know what I'm saying? It was just like like giving that shit some steroids or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So opportunities just bubbled and tripled, but you know at the same time penalties penalties was harsh. You know a lot of people didn't get to make it because everything was just that. You know what I'm saying? Just that hectic, just that fast. Mm. And we say penalties. And I, so go ahead. Remind you, I'm gonna remind you, we were still we were still young during these times, man. A lot of that shit that we were talking about earlier, we was nine, ten, eleven, twelve years old. You see what I'm saying? We, you know, when that shit when we was official, we, we was we was in the thick of it. You know, my my mother was on that shit, so my my house was a crack spot. You know what I'm saying? I I went through the whole little little thing where you know lights out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, Got to go next door to get some water type shit. That cocaine, that crack, when that crack hit, mm. it really devastated the other uh, community. That's the one thing I wanted to make sure I threw out there. That shit did fuck up the hood. Man, you know, I'm speaking on it, man, because I'm anti all that shit right now. Like, uh, if a drug or any, any kind of part of the game destroyed a family, it killed mine. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my, my, my family... Uh, 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 my grandfather and I'm speaking on it because they 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 rest and it's done and it's done and over with. But man, like my grandfather brought my family to uh, up here to Washington. You know what I'm saying from Oakland, and uh, you know he was doing his thing, man. You know on the heroin thing back in them days, man. And, you know so like drugs been a, a intimate part of the fabric of my family as far as the the the, the, the black sheep of my family. Uh, uh, so drugs it, when they, they all was balling, you know how the shit go. Everybody was having money. It was all good. Then they start using, and then it was all bad. You know, you know how it go. You know what I mean? And uh, so that shit. Uh, uh you know, I, I watch. I, I'm talking about. I watch grandpa. I watch grandma. I watch uncles. I watch aunties. I watch my mama. I watch that shit destroy the whole family. You dig what I'm saying? And everyone I just named is rest in peace. No cap. Mm -hmm. yeah. From that shit. Yeah. You dig? You dig? So. And it's still, that's still the number one thing 
that that kills motherfuckers out here still more than gangs, more than anything else, man. It's these that damn drugs, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I got to speak on that too because we, we we losing a lot of people behind some motherfucking drugs. Speak on that like shit, niggas. dog. And they're on everything, yeah, homie. Like, they're on all kind of pills, shit. everything. Yeah, that's what you know what I'm on. Yeah, you know what they doing right already, now. Already. You know what I'm saying? They ain't waking up and shit. You mm-hmm. feel me? And that shit hurt because, you know, these are childhood friends. This shit deeper than, like, my homie, my homegirls. You know what I'm saying? We grew up. Together. It ain't even about with a purpose no more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just, just for the fun of it now. Exactly. Wake up, pop. Yeah. Let's go all through the day. Just pop, pop, pop. And like you say, you just mix that shit with a little alcohol. And that's that's a remedy for, for a death sentence right there. Too easy. Yeah, man. Oh, a colony is coming. But it's from Venus. And if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. Why don't you play some? I'm at a crossroads every damn day, looking back in my past when I sleep. But living on the edge, now I do it enough. Iniquity down to my feet. What do I do when I need a little food and I gotta get the money for the rent? Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord, come my son, he can give me some money, repent. What? What? Thank you. I really love you, baby, so I spank you. Life is a way straight, fucking you up. Living in a prison, I'ma shank you. So what's love got to do with it? When it with my heart, I'ma sleep, I'ma fall. But she said she love me, she wanna hug me, and but she starts getting told. I spy with my little mind's eye, dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight, baby. gonna be okay and while the world burns i'll be near the skyline and i'll be biding my time till i can ride the wave then everything gonna be okay yeah what are the chances you're picking a flight we're leaving tonight pack up your bags we're leaving this place and this baggage because what could we do while Rome is collapsing But not in a day We'll be okay Let's hit the Amalfia Jackson I'll Pull up the map then Cause I'm through Keeping up with these Joneses Don't care what they're posting You know You only see what they show you Let's fall off the grid then Cause we don't Owe nothing to no one Darling just listen It'll be Just like starting over and I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on What you can see in daylight Baby ignore the rain Everything gonna be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay I don't even know why I'm here Wanna be on a beach somewhere Get kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely my girl is by my side, my gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Filling out the window, is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there Bang, bang And I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain gonna be okay and while the world burns i'll be near the skyline and i'll be biding my time till i can ride the wave then everything gonna be okay let me slide on in like I hit a home run Bottle with a knife, I get the job done Celebrating life, I buy bottles like I wanna Pour some out for the homies, I'm on ya Reminisce, swing in memory Every time I blaze a tree, voices in my head Keep on urging me, tell them about the story Hate the game from the hood All about the paper, many years misunderstood Thinking I could one day make it on the big stage Amazed at what I say, metaphorical wordplay Fucking up your frequency Got you moving and grooving to a kind of time of state Nah, I'm gonna stay high, chilling, embracing the vibe Taking you on a ride, a mission never denied As long as you recognize the eyes in the sky I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that'll be on what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gonna be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time 
until I can ride the wave Then everything gonna be okay To the best of your knowledge, when did, uh, you know, Crips and Bloods start making a, a scene in Tacoma? Man, that's like some early 80s, probably like 84. 84, 85, when it when it really when it really just started coming out here, mm-hmm. and it was it was the the uh, the Mona Parks and the, uh, the, the occasion blocks and you know what I'm saying sixties I mean, a lot of niggas from six so too yeah no question so yeah it, it man when it came it like I said it came with like the crack here you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. it, it, it uh, uh real fashionable real quick um. But on some real shit, it's not. It's not. It, w- it wasn't just for the for the for the limelight. It was, it was really, really, really for it. You know what I mean? Tell everyone out there what neighborhood you're from. Hilltop Crip. What's the um? What's the history behind Hilltop Crip? I'll tell you like this. There was an argument. We. I, I was present. There was an argument between if we was gonna be HTGCs or HTCGs. And the reason, and I'll give you that, that this part of the history, because this was, we was cool with, with, with BGDs out of Seattle. That's another story. But they were gangster disciples. And, and the difference between the CG and the GC was gangster crib with crib gang. And we started beefing with the B, uh, uh, BGDs. So we switched that shit and it was CG. I'll give you that part of the history. Gotcha. 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 So you guys do have like GDs and BDs and things out there? Yeah. Yeah. But in a nutshell, man, it's just, there's a bunch of people that's from here. The movement came, but we 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 want we were gonna represent us. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? No matter yeah, what this, the organization was, it's heel, it was heel time. Yeah, it, it was us. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's really what that's really where the foundation began right there. It's just if, if this was gonna be happening, we're gonna do it on our terms. Just as founder, what my nigga said, it's kind of like man, if, if we. You know how it is. You from the land. We go down to the land. We can't just go, come to your hood and and get money. And especially in them days, post up, set up a dope house, and start getting money. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was the reverse thing out here. You know what I mean? But I think I think they back then motherfuckers wasn't ready for that. But they are, the hilltop has always been a close knit community. So again, no matter what organization came from the outside in, in Tacoma. You might get jumped by a blood in the crib out here. You see what I'm saying? Because we're so close knit, we got ties that go back way before any of that. You got what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so you know that was the thing that changed the dynamics and why why you don't really have L.A. hoods, Compton hoods in Tacoma. It's, it's, it's strictly hilltop. Got it. Okay. Okay. What's the um, the Mexican gang presence like in, in hilltop? Zero. Okay. Zero. Not that we don't got love for them, mm-hmm. but any Mexicans that ever came to the hood, we had a couple Puerto Rican homies, but zero, zero, no, no Sereños, no Nortres, none of that. Gotcha. I'm assuming they have some sort of presence in Tacoma in general, though. Zero. Native. Huh? Okay. We got natives out here. We just, we different. We in the Northwest. We in the Great Pacific Northwest. Gotcha. So it's gotcha. black. It's black. Natives, okay, okay. Samoans, yeah, yeah, yeah. black natives, Samoans, and um, I let I let dogs fit in. Yeah. For the most for the most part, you really didn't see them them guys until you was in the joint or something. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I mean, when we say in the town now, nah, they what wasn't really a fact. And if it was, it must have been on a whole different level. But it's not something I'm, I'm familiar with. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I, like he said, there's there, there's you know what I'm saying. There's, there's other ways to get up in here with other things. You know what I'm saying? And we got, like you said, we talked about other gangs. We got, like, we got the native gangs. We got Asian gangs out here. We got, it, it, it's, it's a variety of different stuff, though. Okay. Yeah, I have an interview coming up with a, a Native American dude who, I mean, they're banging hard on those reservations. I don't know if you guys have reservations up there, but. Oh, no, we got one. Oh, okay. We got one right in the city. Okay. She wanna see the city bus. She don't wanna ride the city bus. 
because she's new to the town I advise, look for truth, the ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me he saw the other day with the baby Ain't life crazy, I think about it once in a while When it's cloudy outside and the sun goes None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah Most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, set, go, go. Put your seatbelt on, up and away, we bout to go. We bout the to road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control. Yeah. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. And so, many MCs inspired to be one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Then the law came life, now get dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders, contemplating the worst. Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. That's a bitch. Paying dues upon dues. Keep on telling yourself I'ma make it Others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Who is the first gangster rapper that you remember coming out of Tacoma? And what year would we tell what we say? That's easy. Yeah, that's OG Freeze. OG Freeze. OG Freeze. That's probably like 81, 82. Yeah, shout out to the ACP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the ACP. Them was the big homies for real. That dude right there, there. That's that. That was, that was, he was live, man. Shout out to Mr. Freeze, man. Yeah, yeah. He didn't change his tune with his music and stuff. He's a good influence on the community and making a lot of power moves. But my guy really was setting things off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got some old school classic hits. I mean, he, 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 he was one of the first ones out here to, to show the crack house, to show, show crackheads smoking mm. in the video. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like the real raw uncut, what was really going on in, yeah. in the hood. Does he go by Bishop OG Freeze? Yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm peeping them right that's, now. That's, that's later down the line. That's later you know down the saying? line. You know, Cause, I'm cause, coochie, yeah, yeah. Because hey, <laughs> on, on and off the field, man. Yeah. Really real. That's on and off the field. What's the uh, what's the what's the first song that you remember? Like the title. You be basing. We, yeah, you be basing. You be basing. Yeah, come on, man. You be basing. Hey, you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was my guy, man. Still my guy, man. Man, okay. he took the album cover in front of Key Bank, man. They up there in front of the Red Blazer, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, inf- oh, the infamous Red Blazer. The infamous Red Blazer. <laughs> nice. 
Yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm a hip hop nerd, so I love hearing shit like that, man. So OG Freeze, I'm gonna have to check him. I was trying to find uh, UB Basin on um, YouTube, but I couldn't find it. But I'm gonna play that shit at the end of my show. Yeah, hit his ass up, man. He got it. He got all. He be holding on to shit. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Well, I want to uh, I want to talk about a few stories that you know kind of happened in hip hop in the past you know year year and a half or whatever the case is and get you guys' um, you know um, point of view on it. Um, shit, I guess the first one I guess is the most recent. Um, you guys heard of the King Von situation? Rapper, yeah, out, yeah rapper out of Chicago, drill rapper. Um, in my opinion, he was going to be the next up. I mean, he had everything. He had the flow. He had the look. He, you know, what I'm saying he, he had it. Um, he was down in Atlanta. A little situation happened outside of a, a little uh, kooka bar, I guess. And uh, sh- dudes just shot him. And um, it's all on surveillance. They've caught the dudes. And it's a pretty clear cut situation that it was him. He was damn near wearing the same clothes he was wearing in the surveillance that he was wearing in his mugshot. So, I mean, it's a done deal for this dude. Uh, but my question for you guys, and you could bounce back and forth on this, I would like to hear both of your opinions. But um, what are your thoughts on how rappers with gang ties because he does have gang ties to the bds the black disciples um what are your thoughts on how rappers with gang ties should move when they're bouncing from city to city state to state man um i think personally if you if you actually in this music business you be you should be striving to make a make a difference in the end you know what i'm saying at the end of the day you should you should have you should have a message you know what i'm saying of, of, of growth but that's that's my own personal take on that you know what i'm saying but uh as far as that you should be you should better be a, a happy uh uh diplomatic out there you know what i'm saying it is it, it, it's about longevity mm. oh. i'm gonna say uh, from my perspective man I'm, I'm old school you still if you're actively in in this shit and you know one shoe in one shoe out you have artists happen and shit still you gotta be old school, man. You gotta check in, man. It ain't about being a punk or scared, but you gotta check in as far as nigga, what's going on out there? Is the niggas beefing? Where where was it? Is the, is the venue in? You know, uh, all you gotta ask those questions, and you gotta hire the right niggas or bring the right niggas on board. You know what I'm saying? And I said when I say the right niggas, motherfuckers that's not hot hot headed. You know what I'm saying? Or in the mix of some shit they sell when you want to be different cities gotta be diplomatic man because a lot of that shit saw will, 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 will prevent a murder you know what i mean versus you just popping up in, in, a, in a motherfucker's hood and these niggas got beef going on already and you from that side and you know you get caught up in that shit it, 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 that's how you lose an artist man you know what i mean which in turn is another black life it's sad man yeah. that's just getting ridiculous yeah man this is getting really dumb um and it's repetitive because we had just lost FBG Duck, another popular drill artist uh, from yeah. Chicago. Yeah, he was just walking through a, a nice area of Chicago. I mean, it would be like a Rodale Drive or a Fifth Avenue, Saks Fifth Avenue or something like that. And he just mm-hmm. got caught slipping. As the time goes by and the earth rotates, we gon' fly high up to outer space. And we will never fall down. I'm one with the universe, call me the sound. The bass booming in your speaker with the microphone, I possess it's a heater. You better drop it, let go. You can't touch my beats or my flow. Nigga, Kevin Smith, my name, but not the director, we ain't the same, man. I'm a pimp by nature, inside of me is a god, the creator. Pursuing my dreams, cause anything is possible, you know what I mean. I wanna live comfortable, but gotta be clean. But working every day from nine to five in my day. I feel like a trap. Can't get out of the bubble. I'm running out of time. Overload, I'm in trouble. I feel like I'm trapped. Can't get out of the bubble. I'm running out of time. Overload, I'm in trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. 
One by one we start to subtract them Separate facade from who really bought that action Feel like I'm trapped In the room without a key Four walls surrounding me Stripping my identity Got me in the bubble to observe and deceive Take away my culture and my nationality Talking about double jeopardy yeah, and double standard To killing my folks Like it don't even matter And when we gather Disgusted by the charades Bullets spray the crowd Target practice in the game No accountability So who bears the blame They want to see us violent To justify the change Back to how it used to be Obey or you get beat It's a different time You fuck with mine You feel this heat Not a threat It's a promise Real shit Got the music as a platform For I awareness I feel like a trap Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload I'm in trouble let me out of this box I'm a claustrophobic robot Who knows not what he does Cause they program my thoughts And they tell me support this And hate that person If I don't then I'm crucified And made to be worthless Does a penny with two holes in it Have a purpose When he smiles They don't really know What's under the surface I'm a product of pain Racism and cocaine I never tooted once But it's all of my veins That shit is all of my genes See, it's my destiny This is nothing new kid I'm just an old recipe A boring story That you've heard hundreds of times Blah 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 Wham 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 Hate my life And my parents both suck I'll never be like them Then you grow up, get married, and end up just like them For the most part, it's our fault we're trapped in this bitch Shit, they gave us the blueprint, our dumb asses they I feel this. like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble I feel like I'm trapped Can't get out of the bubble I'm running out of time Overload, I'm in trouble Trouble, trouble, trouble Chicago started this whole thing, right, where you diss your ops by saying you're smoking on them, right? So if I'm smoking a blunt, you, you probably know this. I'm explaining this to half you to have my audience. But um, you, 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 you smoke a blunt, you're saying I'm smoking such and such, who is the opposition and their dead homie. Um, and that's big now in songs. And apparently that's leaking into all areas of hip hop and people in Atlanta do it, people in Louisiana do it, where they're just literally dissing dead homies on record um you know as people who've done music for a while would love to know your thoughts on that and i'm not really with that in the sense i'm i'm i mean from where i come from and how things happen i'm not you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm not starting and i'm not you know what i'm saying that that's going that can get me in I, the whole the whole ideal of saying all of that is one if you take what, what is your is your, is your dry snitching on yourself yeah. Two, and if you yeah. just and if you just dissing somebody, are you asking for a target on your back? As if, if if you're already successful as a rapper, you're not gonna have a target on your back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Somewhere down the line, if you're already doing your thing, you got to, you got to have your preservation because you know what I'm saying somebody's gonna want, somebody's gonna want what you got. So you need to be able to on, on your shit. You know what I'm saying? So adding extras to it, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not. If I'm beefing with you, I ain't gotta let the world know. It ain't about validation, homie. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody to know. Yeah, because so, if something does, if and when something does happen, you're going to be the first person they come for, the cops. We meant too, we too, too easy, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, ain't no sense in, in, in uh, uh, doing myself in. Oh, trip on this, dog. You already know this, but you, the, the, the police officers who solved King Von's, you know, who caught the guy, they probably didn't mm -hmm. even have to do any footwork. 20 years ago, they'd have to go do some footwork, knock on doors, talk to people, ask people for witnesses. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers just sit up in their office, or go on Instagram, and just lit and just read yeah, the comments. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. You're, you're, you're showing off your money. You're, you're, stand, you're, you're, standing in, you're standing in front of the motherfucking Cisna. You know what I'm saying? You got, <laughs> Selling your, lo dope. You got, your, lo you got your locator on. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? In the trap. <laughs> read sign in the background. Man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Too easy, man. It, 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 there was rules and regulations, but everybody, I guess everybody want to be a chief before they be an Indian. So you got a lot of uh, chaos out here and a lot of uh, 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 fuckery. Yeah. In a nutshell. Yeah, yeah. The stuff I see on my Instagram, I'm like, dude, you, I mean, people are just selling selling lean and shit. Like, you don't think that cops are watching this, dog? Like, what are you doing, you dummy? 
and it, it's all it's all young kids 20 21 22 and it's and, and eventually they stop posting i'm like oh that motherfucker must have got caught yeah, and, and I'm glad you brought up young kids, man, because I was going, I was going second. Uh, my, my 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 brother dog said, man, as far as the level of disrespect with the youngsters, man, uh, a, a lot of them, a lot of this generation, man, is some fatherless ass niggas, man, that 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 ain't got no kind of respect for nothing. You know, they, they never they never learned respect. They didn't have to. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were coming up. Yeah. There was there was so much respect. You respected. Yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> You got some like <clears throat> you got some motherfuckers out here, man. Uh, going going to motherfuckers' grave sites, you know, desecrating grave man. sites and shit like that's cool. And I just wanted to speak on that, you know. Thank you for the platform, but just make sure I I threw that out there. That's just not cool, man. Respect the dead. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's what my show's about. It's not about glorifying. You know, nah, life not, and not, shit not, like that at all. It's talking. I want to talk to people like you who have been there, and I, and I want kids to listen and be like, "Damn, is this the life I want to live? Prison, getting shot at, going to jail. Like, is this really the life you want to live? You know what I'm saying?" Man, with that being said, like going back to what you were saying, uh, how everything is on Instagram and stuff. The thing that we got to realize is that this has been spoon fed to them. We're competing with the Matrix, pretty much. We're competing with, with with a phone that we might give them that they're going to be tapped into all day, every day. That gets more and more addictive as we go. You know what I'm saying? We got to be out of. We didn't have to do that. I look at people like Facebook now. It's like stuff that you would never tell nobody. You, if you even did it, you would make write a diary so you can read it to yourself and calm down. But never nobody else is supposed to see it. Everything you see on Facebook is about somebody's whole life. You know what I'm saying? Instagram, whole life. You know what I'm saying? You on Snapchat, you seeing everything a person doing. It might be doing extra just to try to get a like for it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're not even being you. I know a girl that pops a perk before she brushes her teeth I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week I have a friend who's married but he still be fucking bitches And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitching I remember, hold up, sorry I forgot to mention I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention To get attention I would always used to get detention Getting suspended was my only life's mission my little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life Promised my aunt I'll look after him, but I lied Working 60 hours a week, trying to stack cheese Ignoring texts from my family members every week I'm a deadbeat cousin, missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'd call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow down. Take your time and focus Sip your potion, oh slow motion Slow down. Take your time and focus. Sip the potion. Oh, slow motion. Yo, yo. Yo. I write rhymes for the masses, introductory classes, bringing you up to speed, can't see, go get your glasses, we gon' mix it with the little Honey Jack, got the cherries at the bottom, you know I be getting that, so much going on in the world today, I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate, let me fly in the sky like birds, I'm using my imagination to script it with the words, so let's blow clouds, I'm sending you much love, I'm held down by gravity, my spirit is up above, hop in the sky, take a ride with me, 485 horsepower, with him now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet I bet it was another who wanted to shine But I'm two steps beyond, baby, this my time Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor and coherent Sober up, then I do it again Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play this game to win this if I was on double dare And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Burn rubber, 
like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast, maneuver like Jet Li Translation, man, I'm quick on my feet, quick to defeat That's my suspicio, or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio, or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip your potion, oh slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion This dude is kind of an old conversation and I, and I hope he stays an old conversation and just disappears and never comes back. But in hindsight, hindsight being 2020, what are your whole thoughts on the whole Takashi 6 9 situation? Clown. Come on, man. That's, 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 I mean, that's, that's a joke in itself. I mean, that's, that, that's seeking validation on every level, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I don't I don't I don't I don't condone none of that shit he did. I don't see how how you got ten million followers off that type of shit. And that just shows there's no rules and regulations out here. You know what I'm saying? At some point you gotta have in order to have a um, a system, just like in America, we have a system. We have cops and robbers, we have rules, we have regulations. Shit has to be established and has to be followed to the protocol. And when you got cats that you know what I'm saying? When a sucker get in the game, a real player don't stand a chance. So you keep the suckers out to the game. That's my opinion. We're, we're we're in an era now where there's just at water gangsters. You can you can just wake up in the morning and say I'm going to be this today and go on Facebook and funk the flex. Yeah, and, and you, you know, gang bang with your keyboard. Yeah, you, you feel me and be whatever you want to be, man. And it, it, it's instant gang banger. It's instant hustler. It's instant pimp. It's instant rapper. You know what I mean? It's kind of like just add water these days, man. And it's, that's what's fucked up, too. It's crazy. <laughs> who do you think are more at fault? Or maybe they're equally at fault. But who who do you think are more at fault? Um, him or the Nine Trey for letting them get so close to, to them? You would have to say Nine Trey, man. Mm -hmm. You would have to because that's too many minds. That's too many eyes. That's too many niggas involved with and in, in knowing knowing what a motherfucker's caliber is. If we really fun this shit, we had we had we we called them busters back in the day. We had a couple busters. We we let be around us, but that the time was different. Thank God they didn't snitch or nothing. But you know what I'm saying? They still was busters. But we let them be around because they served their purpose. Rules, you know what I'm rules and regulations, man. <laughs> certain certain things is not tolerable. You know what I'm saying? So when you ask me who's at fault. They both at fault. You supposed to, you supposed to realize something that was off about this person, but I can't say that entirely because sometimes you just don't know a person. But you come in just knowing the rules and regulations, man. You rap about the shit all before, before you know what I'm saying. The shit hit the fan. Now when it hits the fan, it's it's okay to do what you what you claim that you hated or that you couldn't tolerate. Come on, man. Well, this ain't pancakes. You don't get to flip to the other side. You know what I'm saying? You don't get to do that. Ain't no path for that. Is the G code dead? You think? Is a hey, is broken. Mm. It's is is broken, and until again, leading it back to what I was saying, and until we can unplug, and we can start raising our own, and we start feeding them the information on whatever platform we decide we're building, we got to be able to maintain our platform, and we got to make sure that we're feeding the information. Because anytime you're not feeding information, information is getting fed. So they say, write your book before somebody write it for you. Mm. Yeah, love that saying, Doc. Mm -hmm. Well, shit. Who are uh, who are some of the artists from uh, Tacoma that we should be checking out for? And where can we find you two? And what's going on? Uh, what's the next move? Man, that's, there's so much I can I can tell you guys about right now. First, I'm going to give my boy a shout out, Mac Money right here. He got a new CD out, too, with the CeeLo Blue. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he got the, the CeeLo Blue. He got the uh, he got the Mac Money album that just dropped. You know what I'm saying? Um, got a couple of videos that just came out. My boy Stewie Newton, who out here hot right now. So, shout out to Stewie Newton. Mm -hmm. Real Cosby, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, 
Them is the two hottest artists mm-hmm. out of the mm-hmm. town right now, real talk. There's a couple hot ones too. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Block Rep Shot is out here actively one, one being minute, active. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. My, so, my, yeah, my, my I'm cat. not overlooking nobody. Yeah, yeah, Louis. My, yeah, Louis out here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 and my dude Lizzie Soprano too. Oh, you know yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. I got to give all my guys a shout out. You know what I'm saying? These guys are actively uh, uh, spinning wheels, making fire. You know what I'm saying? Getting people's attention. You know what I'm saying? In a major way. You know what I'm saying? Nationwide, worldwide. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, my little nigga Cash here, man. I got to shout you out too, my nigga Big Smoke. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you, Heavy Smoke, Heavy Shout Out. He just dropped a uh, hot ass uh, album today on YouTube, man, called uh, I Forgot That I Rap. It's just dope. Check mm-hmm. it out. But yeah, and as far as that, I know I got this little thing called The Curator, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of uh, booing. It's, it's coming together real well, you know what I'm saying? And then I know my nigga Mac Money, he going to tell you about what he got right there. Yeah, man, shit, man. Uh, I, shit, I got a whole bunch of projects, uh, projects out there, man. Uh, motherfuckers going through a transition and doing different type of music, so you can you can look up uh, CeeLo Blue, like CeeLo Green. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my little idols. You know what I'm saying? So CeeLo Blue, Hell yeah, man, you know dog. Saying? I'm a huge Goody Mob fan, homie, and so. 100 man, 100. Soul Food is probably my top five album of all time. I could recite it from front to back. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, man. So, you know, I got some I got some good music under that name. Also, I just dropped the uh, album under Mac Money, you know what I'm saying? I keep it real. Uh, but I got I got several I got several singles. Uh, I got a I got a, a a hot one out right now. Uh, again, shout out to Stewie Newton and uh Real Cosby, you know what I'm saying? Them young cats, man. Hey man, they ate a nigga up, man. They, they hey, these guys is hot, man. And that's why you have features, man. You want somebody that can now sign you, man. Somebody that that you can present to the on on a global network, man. These guys is talented, man. I'm gonna yeah. say that again. Mm-hmm. I got a hot single with them called Octane, man. So check that shit out, man, on YouTube, the Mac Money G channel. Also on Evo, man. Yeah, and you can check me out on any any social media platform. Uh, the real Mr. Dog Two Five Three or Mr. Dog Two Five Three. I'm under both of them. You know what I'm saying? So whether your Facebook, your your IG, your 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 Snapchat, the the TikTok. I don't I don't you know what I'm saying? I just watch them. So you're not gonna catch me doing that on TikTok. That's not what I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah. And so, but just in case you need to contact me, you need that feature. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to bring me to your town. Yeah, that's that. You can find me anywhere. The real Mr. Dog Two Five Three or Mr. Dog Two Five Three. Look, I like to keep it simple, man. All you got to do is Google me, Mac Money. There you go. <laughs> you may see M O N E Y, man. It's going to all pop up. I'm 35 years old. I'm 45 years old. And I'm fine. And you the older generation than me. And I'm fine too. And we've been standing around as the older ones taking all this bullshit. Always over for a goober. Fuck it, y'all. Always standing around for a food by y'all. Ain't nobody coming to protect us. We gotta start our own fucking life. It's like the message has been lost. How much money does a black life cost? Every time we kill another brother, we keepin' people employed who profit when we kill another. How can we make a change instead of pointing at others for the blame? Shit, let's put some gasoline on the flame and burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying. Better be strapped for the peace. They talking about defunding police. Gun stores sold out for six weeks. I'm smelling something in the air and it reeks. Black lives matter all the time Not just when one of them kills one of our kind Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking When Chicago has 30 murders in one week I mean, yeah. 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 Just listen, it's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate Let's get it straight this time, movement is all over the world Energy divine, where were you when the revolution got started? Black people fed up, more than dearly departed We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rallied Marching in units in George Floyd, chanting loudly 
How many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's a lie. I'm trying to get it by enemies that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, I'll make ground down on your knees. Please. The pigmentation of my skin is current situation Got me feeling like the revolution's about to begin On the different type of vibes, so many ready for change Fist in the atmosphere, sick and tired of the games Being played by these slain, ain't no fucks given Only justification as I fit the description Trapped in the system, just another digit In a private prison, trying to keep the optimism It's tearing me to the core, how many more we gon' lose? We got the right to live a life without you and me Know what we do, enlighten the youth Feed the knowledge, give them tools Running the race, coming out of my shoe Taking it all the way back to my it's a different time, we ain't going forward You see there's power in numbers, keep on ignoring You see us coming together, together we growing They feel the change that's coming, you better know I'm in here, I'm angry at 31, you angry at 16 I'm in here, I'm in here, I'm in here